So you're getting ready to do the teach it, share what you learned uh, assignment on the environmental stewardship project or quest. So let's go on to the task. Now the task has everything that's on Google Classroom right here, but for these Google Classroom assignments, I like to go to the assignment tag, uh, tab, not tag, and click on open Google assignment and just open the assignment. Uh, it, it looks a little better here. You see how here, this one looks like, uh, it, it just doesn't look right. So for some reason, I like this better. Well, you've got this document, which you should all be familiar with. This one is great. I want you to try out new things, find what you like. This is a choice board. It gives you choice on how to present your learning, how to share what you're learning. Um, so you can pick any combo of these to uh, teach people. But this one is super important right here. 2021 water quality quality presentation. Click on that because this reminds you to make sure to check the demonstrate your learning. So if you click on this one first, you got a link to the choice board. I know. I love linking. Uh, but here's what's important. This gives you the presentation requirements so you know exactly what you need to do. So number one, it says describe your parameter as if your audience knows nothing about it. You're the only one in your classroom who is studying it, so you should treat it as your classmates don't know it. Um, and I want to tell you how to do that is two ways. So you've got water quality research. And I show you here how to make that one uh, uh, the best. And it's got a document. This is where you're going to take your notes. And, and scroll down because some people only did the first two. Look, they wrote here and they think they're done. Oh, no, there's two more. Oh, I haven't finished this one. All right, so I got to do that. And you're probably thinking, oh, man, how do I do it? Remember, you've got these. So pick your one parameter. Let's say I'm pH. Oh, looky here. I click on this and it takes me to this wonderful page with amazing information. And if you're like, oh my goodness, there's so much here. What do I need to focus on? I got you covered. Continue. Click on the Ed Puzzle. You know, if you already did the Ed Puzzle and you're like, oh, I did that a long time ago. I forgot. Go back and rewatch it because here I am teaching you what you need to do number one and describe your parameter. So go here and write your notes because these notes, you write them in your own words, you can use them for your blog post or for your video or for your animation or for your drawing. Oh my goodness, you could do anything or for your comic book, whatever. So that's number one. Now, number two, many of you have already done a uh, graph your data. You got to put both graphs in your presentation, your Google Slides, your website, whatever. Once you have those graphs there, analyze the data. What does the graph mean? You have to write that or say that. Then you're going to make a, a, a paragraph for a conclusion. Based on your data for your one parameter, how's Chimicum Creek doing? That's what you have to write. Uh, but let's make your presentation also beautiful with photos. Look at this. You click here and go down to the link. I put all the photos that I took uh, from cohort A and B. So cohort C, you can still use photos. Use theirs. All right, we've got parent permission for all of you uh, in cohorts A and B, because you turned in your permission slips and your photo release forms to publish these photos. And I shared them with the Ocean Guardian School Program. And they're going to highlight some of these in our uh, in their next newsletter to share with the world. So tons of photos. You can do that one, too. And then last but not least, include a bibli bibliography with a link to the website you used. This one right here for pH um, and make it clickable. I've got a video to show you how to make it clickable. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you finish your water quality presentation. Uh, I've seen so many already that are great. I'm so excited for you to share them. And then the rest of you that are just starting, 
This should help you get off to a great start and get it done completely. Message me on Classcraft if you have any questions about this video or your presentation. Good luck.